Uh, th thanks to uh, Vol Nation for showing up in uh, in a big way. Uh, I believe we set another uh, Nissan uh, uh, stadium record for uh, for attendance. I think that happened the last time that we were here too. Uh, obviously, everybody here understands how important uh, Mid State this uh, this area is. Uh, first of all, just uh, our fans base, our, our alumni that are here, uh, but also on the recruiting side of it. So, uh, great unique opportunity to to open it up uh, the. Uh, the way we did this season uh, here in uh, in Nashville. So, uh, ball game, um, end of the day, um, it's uh, a really positive win. Uh, there's a lot of things to take away from it on the positive side. Uh, at the same time, there's a lot of ways that we can be uh, a whole lot better as a program. Uh, defensively, though, I, I thought the way that they started in, in the first half, uh, you know, three, four uh, possessions for sure on the uh, wrong side of the 50-yard line. Um, you know, they bow up immediately and uh, hold them to a total of three points, I believe. Um, I thought our front four did an unbelievable uh, job of playing on the other side of the line of scrimmage. Thought we tackled well for, well for an opener and, um, you know, did a really good job on third down. Secondary was, uh, was rock solid early in the football game and uh, that carried over uh, for a majority of the, the football game. Uh, special teams offensively are some things that we needed to clean up uh, uh, that happened in the, uh, the first and, and second quarter. Um, I thought early in the third quarter, uh, played solid football and, and uh, settled into uh, a little bit more of a flow uh, in both areas. But um, as typical, um, you know, there's, uh, there's things that we got to clean up, coaching staff and players alike. Uh, at the same time, um, man, enjoy every single one of these wins and, and uh, learn how to get better when we get back tomorrow to, to Knoxville. Open it up. Questions? Ben, then David. Yeah, you guys can see a lot of it too. Um, you know, there's just some subtle th subtleties of, of uh, execution. You know, uh, catching the football uh, on you know some big plays, um, being more accurate with the football, being a little bit cleaner in the pocket. It's not a major overhaul when things aren't going well. Typically, uh, on the offensive side of the ball, um, eleven guys got to operate as one. Um, I, I felt like you know just in general, like our skill kids in general were not like completely in the flow of the game. And, and uh, whether it was the heat, um, new surface, uh, game one, you know, just weren't quite within ourselves. And, and as game went on, I felt like we operated better in that way. Josh, on that first possession, fourth and five, you go for it. Um, how difficult of a decision was that? And how much does that kind of, you know, show to your players the confidence you have in them? Yeah, those those are difficult situations. Um, you know, you're you're trying to at the end of the day put your uh, football team in the best position to to win. And uh, where we were at on the field, opening drive, um, you know, one trusted our guys, and, and two, uh, the field obviously was uh, was flipped, and they were in a, a tough situation if we didn't pick it up. Austin and Vince. James obviously had those two sacks in the first quarter, but it seemed like you got the Who was that? I'm sorry. James, James Pierce. Yeah. Um, James played uh, really well today, early in the football game. Uh, David Hobbs did an unbelievable job in the interior. Uh, he's a young guy that his best football is, you know, way out in front of him, but uh, just continues to get better. You can see his improvement, you know, really almost every single day on, on the practice field. I thought he competed. Uh, extremely well. Josh Joseph did some really good things uh, early in the football game too. So uh, we got a plethora of, of some young guys that uh, need to continue to grow, but uh, guys are going to help us as uh, as the season goes on. Josh, four touchdowns for Dylan Sampson. What can you say about his performance? Yeah, that's uh, um, that's a good way to start if uh, if you're a running back. Um, you know, the, all three of those guys played extremely well. Jalen Wright, I thought, ran as physical as he has. Um, you know, the things that we saw in training camp, I thought you saw today, uh, doing a great job of hitting holes, running through arm tackles, uh, doing a good job on the third level, too. Um, Jabari Small did a fantastic job. Uh, DSAM, you know, gets the four touchdowns, super productive for him. Um, you know, I, I love what he's doing. Um, the strength of that room can never be one guy. All those guys um, are going to be extremely important. You can see that, you know, based in, in the number of touches all those guys got. Well, first of all, uh, we've got a great coordinator, and Tim does a great job of, of developing a plan every single week. Um, 
we have enough in our package that uh, we can be multiple in the way that we attack people uh, on the other side of the line of scrimmage. Uh, when we first got here, um, we were at 65 scholarship players. Um, we were hit heavy in the portal. A lot of that on the defense side of it, not all of it. Um, we were extremely thin. Um, we tried to patch it with some uh, transfers. Uh, the guys that we brought in the last two cycles, uh, I think, have done a really good job of helping patch our roster. We have more uh, depth. Uh, we got really good coaches that do a great job of developing those guys uh, fundamentally. Um, and our guys have bought into to how to compete on, on every single snap. And, and uh, so you put scheme, coaching, um, physical development in the weight room, and uh, in depth and allows us to, to be more aggressive on that side of the football. Jeff, I know you guys have rotated some guys on the back end, but do you feel right now that you have that solid five that you were in a different kind of game, or are you still some solid? Uh, we're gonna, we're, we're, you're going to see uh, multiple guys rotate uh, on the back end. Jeff, how do you feel about Joe getting all command in the offense? I thought command was, was really so solid. Uh, I thought he did a good job in the pocket. He escaped at times when needed. I thought his run reads were uh, really pretty solid. Um, you know, there are a couple throws that, yep, he would want back, um, not far off. Um, you know, Ramel's running right down the middle of the football field, and, and uh, we're just a little bit off. Um, and that's where I just felt like early in the ball game. Um, we weren't completely settled in, um, but uh, at the end of the day, this game's not going to be perfect uh, in any phase of the game. Um, it's how you continue to respond and handle yourselves. I thought they continued to compete, finished the first half the right way, and came out and started fast in the second. All of it was planned uh, that we were going to rotate those guys. <clears throat> um, have uh, great trust in those guys. As the season goes on, you inevitably need uh, to have depth and, and be able to move people around. So, um, you know, looking forward to getting Coop back here, uh, hopefully pretty soon. And, and uh, at the same time, love uh, what we've uh, done with the, the guys that uh, have been at center, but the moving parts that we've had, uh, how they've competed and played. Uh, believe that, uh, you know, we'll find more out as we watch it today. But I thought all in all, a really solid performance from all those guys. <clears throat> Coach, you talked a lot about the depth all camp long. Uh, did this kind of go the way that you planned it throughout the camp that even maybe exceed your expectations, the amount of guys you were able to work in today? I, I, man, I, I don't think so. Um, you know, we planned on playing a bunch of guys uh, because they've shown that, you know, they deserve the opportunity to, to play and, and uh, you know, taking some of those snaps at the end of the day makes us a stronger football team uh, in week one, but throughout the course of the season too. Um, there's still, you know, some moving pieces. And when I say that, man, you know, the depth chart week one is not the same as it's going to be week two, man. There's continued growth and opportunity for everybody inside of our program. And, and um, you know, just for myself, you know, really good football teams continue to get better. Uh, that's, you know, mature veteran guys, it's uh, young guys inside of your program. So continuing to grow and compete is something that we've already talked about inside of our locker room. Well, first of all, there's a level of maturity that your defense has to have um, to have as many of those situations come up where the ball's on the wrong side of the, the football field and to have no panic, um, no pointing of a finger, just, hey, man, uh, a look in your eye and, and uh, a common thread that we're going to go out and compete and, and get off the football field here. Um, I love that maturity from those guys and from our staff on that side of the football. Um, offensively, <clears throat> there wasn't any panic. Uh, you know, we talk about it, you know, dang near every day that if it's not going good, it's typically not some major overhaul. It's, you know, 11 guys got to operate as one. So um, there is some maturity in that um, there was no panic from them. They were extremely confident. Um, there's going to be, you know, more hostile environments that we're going to play in where that maturity will be tested even more. Um, we got to continue to grow together uh, for us to handle all those situations the right way. We, we did have one late. Um, not to correct you, but to correct you. Um, um, <clears throat> point of emphasis, um, all off season, how you do anything is how you do everything. And, um, you know, the maturity off the field, the maturity inside of our building, the maturity on the practice field, 
something that we continue to stress. Uh, you guys know that I have liked the competitiveness and the accountability and the maturity of this group as we've grown the entire off season. Um, this is step one of the journey. Uh, we got to be true to that every single week, but it certainly was a step in the right direction on the game field for us on that side of the football. Uh, some real subtle things just in uh, personnel and communication, um, you know, between coaches uh, at times. Um, so nothing major, but continued growth. David, did you miss? Josh, I guess Jackson had a couple of rough spots. I know Z fumbled one, and he had some kickoffs go out of bounds. Was that kind of a – have you seen that in camp, or was that kind of an aberration today? Man, imagine going over to a foreign country and playing a game for the first time that you've never played, you know? Like, um, did I anticipate it? No, but do I understand it? Yeah. Um, he's uh, uh, going to be a really good player, though. Um, some of what you saw late from him is what we've seen all training camp. So, um, you know, believe he'll continue to get better. Believe Josh will, too. I mean, you saw some big-time kickoffs from him and saw a couple that uh, aren't up to our standard. But uh, both those guys will be better for it. Josh, I know it was late and small sample size, but what did you see from Nico and the way he handled it? Same things that we've seen, uh, really calm, cool, um, good demeanor, uh, able to communicate, handle all the, the pre-snap stuff the, the right way, get, it, get his eyes in the right uh, place. Um, you know, I thought, you know, showed some athleticism. I love the feel in the pocket, being able to step up and get out of it and go make a play with his feet. He's athletic enough to, to be used in the run game and uh, escape the pocket. Um, and, uh, you know, I thought some of the, the run pass stuff, he did a good job and, and uh, you know, made an athletic throw, didn't complete it, but uh, thrown across his uh, body on, you know, a little slant route uh, that ended up not being completed. But all in all, uh, really solid performance from him. Yeah, love. You talk about maturity, like competitive composure. You know, I think D's as great of an example of that as anybody uh, during the course of this football game. Uh, we talked about the specialists earlier, um, being able to handle something that doesn't go right and come back and compete. You know, the next play is independent. Um, D's dynamic. Uh, you see him on all of our core uh, special teams unit, cover units. He's, he's running down there uh, making plays. Uh, elite uh, returner, man, uh, dynamic, and uh, you know changes the way the game's played because of the field position. Uh, everybody in our program loves D, who he is, what he stands for, you know the teammate that he is, and uh, we love uh, how dynamic he is with the football in the return game too. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate it, everybody. Have a great day.